Morning Prayer on Saturday the 3rd of December. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 10 The theme of this psalm is that the Lord has never failed those who seek him. Why stand so far off, O Lord? Why hide yourself in time of trouble? The wicked in their pride persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. The wicked boast of their heart's desire. The covetous curse and revile the Lord. The wicked in their arrogance say, God will not avenge it. In all their scheming, God counts for nothing. They are stubborn in all their ways, for your judgments are far above out of their sight. They scoff at their adversaries. They say in their heart, I shall not be shaken. No harm shall ever happen to me. Their mouth is full of cursing, deceit and fraud. Under their tongue lie mischief and wrong. They lurk in the outskirts and in the dark alleys. They murder the innocent. Their eyes are ever watching for the helpless. They lie in wait like a lion in his den. They lie in wait to seize the poor. They seize the poor when they get them into their net. The innocent are broken and humbled before them. The helpless fall before their power. They say in their heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face away. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord God, and lift up your hand. Forget not the poor. Why should the wicked be scornful of God? Why should they say in their hearts, you will not avenge it? Surely you behold trouble and misery. You see it and you take it in your own hand. The helpless commit themselves to you, for you are the helper of the orphan. Break the power of the wicked and malicious. Search out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord shall reign for ever and ever. The nations shall perish from his land. Lord, you will hear the desire of the poor. You will incline your ear to the fullness of their heart to give justice to the orphan and oppressed, so that people are no longer driven in terror from their land. Lord, you have never failed those who seek you. When wickedness triumphs and the poor are betrayed, come to your kingdom, strong and holy God, destroy the masks of evil and reign in our broken hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen.
we continue reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 24 to 45, verse 13. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who by myself spread out the earth, who frustrates the omens of liars and makes fools of diviners, who turns back the wise and makes their knowledge foolish, who confirms the word of his servant and fulfills the prediction of his messengers, who says of Jerusalem, it shall be inhabited, and of the cities of Judah, they shall be rebuilt, and I will raise up their ruins. Who says to the deep, be dry, I will dry up your rivers. Who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and he shall carry out all my purpose. And who says of Jerusalem, it shall be rebuilt. And of the temple, your foundation shall be laid. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue nations before him and strip kings of their robes, to open doors before him and the gates shall not be closed. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by name. For the sake of my servant Jacob, and Israel my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, there is no other. Beside me there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know, from the rising of the sun and from the west, there is no one beside me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make weal and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to you who strive with your maker, earthen vessels with the potter. Does the clay say to the one who fashions it, what are you making? Or, your work has no handles. Woe to anyone who says to a father, what are you begetting? Or to a woman, with what are you in labour? Thus says the Holy One, the Lord of Israel and its maker. Will you question me about my children or command me concerning the work of my hands? I made the earth and created humankind upon it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens and I commanded all their host. I have aroused Cyrus in righteousness and I will make all his paths straight. He shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. And in response, let's praise God with the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors, 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the, the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And let us now pray. Lord, we pray that we may always be alert and watchful, noticing your presence, alert to your voice. Lord God, we pray that your kingdom may come with justice and mercy. Lord, we lift to you those who are poor, those who are cheated by people with more power. Pray for those who have been deceived and tricked to give up money. Lord, we pray, like the psalmist said, that the plans and schemes of those who plot to bring down and exploit the poor, that they may be foiled. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as war still rages on, especially thinking of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, we pray that there may be peace and justice between the nations. Lord, we pray that your wisdom will reign. That there will be righteousness, right relationship between countries at war and also Lord we pray for places where there is civil war Lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray Lord for those who are struggling with sorrow and anxiety. We pray for those who are sick. And we pray for those who are sorrowful and struggling with loneliness because of a bereavement. Lord, we pray that you in your mercy will bring comfort, bring strength, and bring mercy. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that the light of your coming, the light of your love, will shine on those who are in dark places and especially those who are close to death. That, Lord, you will be a source of comfort and confidence to them and peace and confidence to those who are close to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church and specifically we pray for our worshipping communities in Stroud, both Church of England in our team and also all the other denominations that we have relationship with. That, Lord, we pray that we in Stroud may shine as lights in our situations, that we may bring hope, we may bring love, we may bring the message of your kingdom, that you reign. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And the collect for today. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.